Okay, so I was going over some of our old videos, and especially some of my old videos, and I came up with a kind of a weird coincidence, maybe? I don't know. But I noticed that the videos that I had made sitting in front of my big book wall got a lot more views than other videos that I've made without the big book wall. Welcome back, Big Book Wall. Okay, so first things first, I am so, so sorry for missing making a video last week. It's the first time I've ever missed one, and I feel really, really bad. Um, I'm actually making this video on Sunday to make sure that I can actually get it done in time to post it on Thursday. So if anybody, you know, after this point assigns me a punishment, it's going to have to wait until the next video that I make because, well, obviously I don't know what it is yet, but please be kind because the reason that I didn't make a video last week, I was going to make it on Wednesday and then I was going to try and make it on Thursday, but both of those days I had to bring work home because I was in a meeting on Wednesday when my boss basically sat me down and said that I have to try and work around the clock on this project that now I'm involved in again. So yeah, I was working basically from 8 o'clock in the morning till between 10 and 11 o'clock at night the last half of last week. Not fun. Anyway, I wanted to ask a question. Um, I guess I would ask Jake, number two, Sunday Jake. Who hasn't posted a video in a while? Does anybody know what's going on with him? Anyway, I was going to see if there was any way that he might want to switch days with me. Because Sundays are actually my easiest day to make a video right now. So, Jake, if you're watching and you're still, you know, part of the vlog mm -hmm. project, let me know. And uh, if you can't, that's fine. If Sundays work better for you, but just let me know because they would work really good for me right now. Okay, so to start off I'm going to answer the question, which I guess is a quiz, that AJ wanted us to take last week. Um, what's my inner power animal? Alright. What what do I do when faced with an argument? Hmm. I'm gonna say state my opinion calmly. Uh, my personality, mm-hmm, gonna pick the first one. I don't think I'm necessarily mysterious, but I'm definitely introverted. What do I like to do the most? Think and write. How am I in social situations? Ha, <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, not in very many highly social situations. That's why I'm on the internet all the time. Uh, color, I'm gonna go with purple. My biggest fault, we'll go back with introverted issues. Element, water. And what do I value most in a person? I'll go with compassion. All right, see my results. I'm a cat. Okay. I'm elegant, understanding, and intuitive. Okay. Often deep in thought, I am an empath empathetic person with a big heart, <laughs> and at times I can be rather lazy. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, um, so apparently I am a cat. So there you go, AJ. I'm a cat. I'm not going to meow, though. Well, okay, maybe I will later. Alright, so that's done. And, well, now I guess for this week, I get to pick a question. Alright, I actually thought about this a little bit, and it was something that I was thinking about, some, some things that I was looking at online and a couple things I was reading. Um, I want you to describe to us what is the funniest thing you've ever seen or heard. It can be something that really happened, maybe something that you saw at school or at work or whatever. It can be something that you've read, it could be a movie that you've seen, or 
something crazy that you saw on the internet. If it's on the internet, then, you know, give us a link to it so we can all laugh. But it, it, I think it'd be kind of fun to see, you know, what, what kind of sense of humor we all have. Because I know that a lot of people think certain things are hilarious, and I, you know, don't get it at all. So that's the question. What's the funniest thing you've ever seen? Now, as far as the piano thing goes, that's a little bit tricky for me, um, mostly because my piano is not in my house, it's at my mom's house. So I'm going to try and get over there at some point to play a little bit of piano for you guys. And if I can do that, I will put it right here. Okay guys, I'm at my mom's house. I'm here. Here is the piano. But I'm not going to put the video of me playing the piano here because this video is starting to get really, really long. So I put the video of me playing the piano on my personal channel and I've linked it in the sidebar. So if you guys want to watch it, go and head over there. And hope you like it. Alrighty, last and but not least, since I am back in front of the big book wall, i got to tell you about the last book that I just read, which was The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime by Mark Haddon. Mark Haddon. Probably couldn't see that because there's a plastic cover on this since it's a library book and it probably had a lot of glare on it. But anyway, The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime. Uh, this is a really, really good book. And it was actually, it went by really fast and it's over 200 pages long. But the main thing that's really interesting about this book is that the main character is told in first person and the narrator is a 15 year old boy who is autistic. And it was really interesting and probably hard as hell to write. I can't imagine trying to write through the eyes of, of somebody that would be that much different from myself. Um, but I mean, Mark Haddon does an amazing job with it and it's really interesting to kind of see the world through the eyes of somebody who has it, or I mean, I'm not going to say who has a disability, but who sees the world in such a different way. Um, it's 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 interesting because he the the main character he doesn't really have any emotions, but he's dealing with a lot of really emotional things, and it it's it just it's a really interesting character study to see exactly how um, this person would see certain things and respond to certain events. So yeah, definitely go read it. It's really, really good. All right. That's it for me. And I will see you guys next week. Can't wait to hear about all of your really, really funny stuff. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.